I've been designing full mouth for 20 years. Here are the four most important things you need to consider for strength and aesthetics when designing a surgical guide. Number one, the lip line. Where does this lip line fall on the patient? This is critical for aesthetics. We want to know ahead of time where that transition line is going to be. We want it under the lip if at all possible. Not taking this into account could result in less than ideal aesthetics. Number two, vertical space. Creating the right amount of vertical space gets the patient back to their natural jaw position when they had healthy dentition. If a patient's teeth are worn down, they already have reduced the vertical space. Opening them back up will also decrease the amount of bone reduction needed. That's why it's critical to take the vertical space into account in the design phase. Number three, teeth position. You want the new teeth where the natural teeth were, over the ridge. But you also want to fix any bite issues and keep them comfortable. Lastly, you wanna make sure you don't crowd the tongue space. Number four, thickness. As mentioned, you need to take into account the vertical and total amount of prosthetic space. But this isn't just for aesthetics. Make sure there's enough thickness for strength. Once we've designed an ideal solution using these four considerations, we plan the implants to support this prosthetic in the best way. We make sure the screw channels come out of ideal locations. Ensure any cantilevers aren't too long and make sure we have enough thickness in areas that are prone to breaking. Once this is done, you'll have a beautiful and functional outcome that will last. Follow for more.